Hello, welcome to Shadow Boxing. We're on step four of our journey toward oneness with God and one another. Step four is making a fearless and searching moral inventory of ourselves. Now, the practice of making a, an exhaustive moral survey of ourselves is a painstakingly honest task. And we're only able to do it because we know that we are in the loving arms of divine love. Now, Jesus was never mad at sinners. He was only angry with people that would not admit that they were sinners. The failure or the purpose of a moral inventory is, is not to beat ourselves up. Because God does never, never wants to beat us up and doesn't want us to beat ourselves up. The purpose is to bring light into the darkness. One is not aiming at some kind of moral victory or moral superiority, but just the light of awareness and compassion for the world. That's our goal. God uses our efforts to open the gates of mercy and humility. People know that they are imperfect glean wisdom through wrestling with their own imperfection. One might call that training shadow boxing. God does, uses our failures to bring us face to face with our false self, our, our shadow self. Everyone has an illusionary, illusionary shadow self, a false self. This is the person I want myself to be, but who really cannot exist because God does not even know such a person. That self exists only in my own egocentric desires and wants to be the reality of life to which everything else has to answer and be ordered to. This false self un unconsciously drives my life. So to shed light on it through step four is to bring light into that shadow and thus, thus rob it of its power over me. This false self is not evil in itself. It's part of the human condition, but when it remains in the shadows, it is a driver of sin and separation from God. But when it is brought into the light, it becomes the occasion for transformation. For as St. Paul writes, when I am weak, then I am strong. For example, God has created me to be one who loves the search for truth. Study is a wonderful spiritual discipline for me. But the shadow side of that is an emptiness, a part of me that is greedy to be filled with more and more knowledge and truth. There is a shadow self that can retreat into observing life and analyzing life instead of living life. So to bring that shadow to light has over my spiritual journey opened me up to the freedom of imagination and poetry in my faith life and the joy of truth as a way of being and living. So the joy is now of getting out of my head and thinking through my heart. Yes, to make take a moral inventory of myself is to bring light into the shadows. We can indeed be fearless in this moral inventory because we know that God's love casts out fear and that indeed light shines in the darkness and into our shadow selves. God bless you in your fearless and searching moral inventory. Blessings.